Hello and welcome to this installment of Fuji Tech Tips. In this video, we want to give you a generally a, just a basic overview of the Caldera RIP. And probably as you know already, Caldera is a great RIP for being able to do some basic file manipulations and color corrections and set up whatever you want to print to your large format and grand format printer. So let's go over some of the basic functionality, as I say. So on the left, we have our main window for where our files reside. You have the ability to create tabs and new tabs and rename the tabs and move them around in any way that works best for your workflow. For me, from a training, training standpoint, I like to keep my uh, job separated by some RGB ones, some G7 training Caldera test images. You know, just keep a little hierarchy of the various different files that I have within there. Um, but from a production standpoint, you could organize it by job, by month, by whatever it is that you decide is something that you want to do to sort of help you sort of subcategorize your jobs. But if you decide to put them all into one default tab, which a lot of customers do, then you can very quickly access a job through filtering. And by access, accessing this little window down on the bottom, you can just type in the first parts of a, either a job number or the job name, and it will almost instantly filter to that job. So you'll find getting to jobs and finding jobs is very, very fast within Caldera. And the reason for that is it's using a low res preview. It's not bringing in the full high res file, ripping that as a, it is ripping it when it's ripping it, but it's giving you a small preview for manipulation and making things very fast to move things around. And it's always accessing the high res that's on your hard drive. So that should help. So that's your basic uh, file tabs and organization and the structure that happens on there. Um, the next window across the top are our applications and they're broke down into three different tabs. We have our main tab, which is showing the applications available here. We can dig into settings and get into some of the configuration and you know, licensing manager and things like that, some of the stuff that you normally don't touch on a regular basis. And then you have your printers that are licensed for this particular RIP. And you do need to install a printer. I've installed these printers after the application was installed, and you need a license in order to drive these individual printers. Okay, so that's part of the setup, and obviously that's something that uh, Fuji Professional Services will come in and, and set up for you, but uh, helpful to understand the, the differences there. This window is your spooler window. This is where jobs go. Once you hit print, then they are going to go into the spooler. And as I say, this is usually kept on a secondary monitor, and it just lets you dig in and see the status of what's happening. Is a job printing? Did you have an error with it? Was there a problem with a font or a spot color or something happened? So you'll get any information about that file very quickly. It'll give you a colorized um, red or green or what's happening with it. So at a glance, you can find out what's happening with all your printers on the network. So that's the spooler. Um, when you double click on a icon, on the printer icon, it opens up a printer window. And this is really where the meat and potatoes this is where you can get right into what's happening with the application to ensure that you're sending the files in the exact way that you want to. The first window gives you the basic configuration settings. You get your resolution. Um, how is it going to be printed on what, what is it going to be a roll or a sheet? What's the media, the mode, the quality and all of that. But if we dig deeper into here and we double click on this one, which is say image positioning, we now have the ability to do a significant amount of stuff with this file. We have rotation, um, scaling, um, keep it within the borders and the proportions of the image. Um, as you can see under the main here, we have the ability to do some numerical scaling. Um, we can add marks of unlimited number of crop mark options. Um, trimming options, annotation options. Um, if you want to add an annotation, we have a barcode option. We have the grommeting. Goodness goes into extremely extreme detail. If you're necess if it's necessary to do grommeting, you'll find that this software gives you almost an unlimited number of opportunities to be able to set up your grommets. And it's very fast because once you create a configuration set, you save that, you apply it, and bang, it's applied to, to that image. Okay, control strips, color bars, um, things like that are also available. We have step and repeat. Um, there's some very, very interesting different ways of which you could do step and repeat. Um, especially if you're doing a wallpaper, there's a way of which it'll match up the lines, which we can get into another time. Um, contour cutting, if we have a contour cut that is uh, part of this image, or we can pick that up and we can figure out what the name of it is and we can apply that for our cutting device. Colors, just as it explains, allows you to do some basic color corrections. 
Of course, once you're set up by a Fuji representative, you're going to have amazingly good ICC profiles for your media. So you really shouldn't have to do a lot of color correction. But in a situation where the image itself isn't really what the customer wants, and maybe it was a little bit flat or was lacking in a color, at this point, then you could enhance that image to another level and use some of these basic color corrections to get what you need quickly without having to go back and exit out of the program. Okay, so that takes you through the basic page setup of it. Um, there are some other uh, tools. We have a number of different spot color editing capabilities and our color management and ICC components of terms of what are we doing with the profile. This particular one is RGB. Um, and we're gonna to continue to preserve that RGB profile. We're not gonna limit the gamut in this situation. So that gives you a basic top line overview of the RIP. Um, again, there's a great deal that we can get into um, on future videos. And I look forward to talking to you more and teaching you more about this great RIP.